you can create surfaces which are also known as DTMs or tins from multiple inputs within the drawing such as 3D faces, polylines, 3D lines, AutoCAD points and point files such as TXT or CSVs. In the drawing we've got a variety of CAD objects which can all be used to help define the surface. On the layers panel pull down and in sitting in layer states we've got some different layer states. The first one here is 3D break lines. So on the right hand side of the project in magenta you'll see that we've got some 3D polylines. So we can use lines, 2D polylines and 3D polylines to help define the surface. We've also got 3D faces and 3D points. So these are just basically CAD points, but these have got elevations sitting above the level of zero. So we're going to be using a selection of uh, these different layers to help define the surface. So to do this, we're going to go up to the Surfaces tab and click on Create Edit Surface. Now, if you're using the Civil 3D platform, you won't have the Surfaces tab. You'll need to go to the Roads tab and click on the Surface Manager button, which is exactly the same form. When we start the software up for the first time on a brand new project, we're required to enter a surface name. So we're going to place NS in the form here, which is basically standing for Natural Surface, and click OK. This is the Surface Manager form. So here's just a quick overview of what you can do with this form. So we can create brand new surfaces. We can copy surfaces. The list of available surfaces within the project, which either we have created or the software has generated, will all be listed in here. We have the ability to be able to delete the surface from the drawing. We cannot delete the NS because this is the last surface in the project and we cannot delete it. And on the right hand side we have the option to be able to import and export XML format. So if you do have surfaces from another uh, platform for example and you would like to share it with Civil Site Design, you can use the import um, XML option. Then really the form is broken down into kind of three clear parts. The first part is inputs. This is what goes into the creation or the definition of our surface with the option to be able to add boundaries and edit the surface itself. We've got the outputs tab which controls how the surface is presented to us and what information is displayed and then finally statistics which is really giving us information about the um, surface statistics. So to begin with we're going to click on the inputs tab now the way in which Civil Site Design can create user-defined surfaces is to use layers within the drawing. So you can see here we're able to create surfaces using 3D faces, CAD points and break lines. So these could be lines, 2D polylines and 3D polylines. We're going to click on the 3D faces tab and then on the pull down underneath the software will list all layers in the drawing that contain 3D faces. So we're going to go ahead and choose 3D faces and then to the right hand side click on add. And that layer will have been added in to your layer definition list underneath. In addition we can click on the points tab and you'll see in the list that there are points. Now what we're not going to do here is add points and break lines and 3D faces because in actual fact all of these objects sit um, over the top of each other. So we're just going to be using 3D faces for the time being. Then we have break lines. Now when we click on the layers pull down you'll see that there are a lot of layers and this is because any line, any 2D polyline or any 3D polyline that's found on any layer can be used. So we've got a fairly significant list. We're going to be using just the 3D faces. We do have the option of importing uh, a point file, say an ASCII file or a CSV file. And the software will review each column within that particular file and we have to define what each column represents within that file and that can be added in to create the surface. We'll review the boundaries and the editing when we come to actually make some edits to our surface once it's been created. For the time being let's just move the form over to the left hand side of the screen or we'll just pan the drawing over to the right as well and down the bottom right hand corner we're going to click on build surface and the surface style will be added into the drawing immediately. Now it's important that you uh, know that the 
objects that we're using to create the surface, if they are edited in any way, i.e. deleted or moved, or we add additional objects on that particular layer of that particular object type, we can strike build surface and the surface will be redefined and rebuilt for us.